Welcome back to Bionic Life. My name is Kevin and today we are getting started in the first segment of this series of this log splitter build. Now I'm going to try to post these videos as quickly as I can. I may even just do this video before I even actually start cutting steel and maybe look for some feedback. Here's my plan and you guys can post in the comments if you have any better suggestions but here's what I envision and how I see it working. Let's see, we'll find the center here. That's just gonna be a, this is a cheap Harbor Freight tape measure. So don't crucify me. We're at probably three and seven eighths inches of center line. So I kind of have it roughly marked. I'm gonna lay this all out with, with uh, scribes and everything. I'll probably put some bluing on there, a marker or something, and we'll scribe the lines. All right, so here's the idea. This section of the beam is gonna, there's gonna be a slot removed here. It's 11 inches deep. That's because I have a five inch piece of one inch steel uh, that's, I don't know, it's, it's tall enough that I can create a spine for the splitting wedge. This wedge will be removable. So there has to be a slot. The slot will be created by cutting this out, removing the web, and then cutting another corresponding slot in the bottom. So we'll have an 11 inch long slot, one inch, little over one inch wide to accept the wedge and the vertical spine, which is also one inch by five inch. I didn't have any six inch on hand, so I went with five inch. I'm hoping I didn't make a mistake there. We will soon find out. But here's what I'm envisioning. And I'm just gonna show you the concept of how I wanna do this. If anybody has any suggestions, you have till tomorrow to, to post in the comments because I am gonna start cutting tomorrow. But the plan is, is to remove this web 11 inches back and create a one inch wide groove 11 inches deep. All right. So once we have this notched and this web removed top and bottom, these will be identical top and bottom. We will have plates on. Now this goes in here. All right. If you can envision that, I'm just doing this for clarity. Envision this as being the web of the I-beam. These will be the spacer plates to make this gap a little better than one inch. It's gonna be an inch and a 16th or just shy, maybe an inch and a 32nd, something like that. It depends on how I weld it up. This will be on this side of the beam and this will be on that side of the beam. Out of the end of this beam sticking up about two inches shorter than the removable wedge will be a permanently affixed stiffener one inch thick by five inches by whatever it needs to be. I have a 35 inch long piece, so I'll just cut off the excess. That'll be the stiffener for the wedge. The top of the beam is going to have, well, I have a full piece over on the rack, but I'm going to cap the top flange with a piece of half inch by eight inch wide. And yes, it will be a full eight inch. That is what my push block or pushing, my pusher is going to ride on. So that'll give me about an inch of material. The bottom is gonna be capped with 3 8 It's gonna run to 60, 68, 72 inches or whatever it needs to be, the length of this beam to make this beam extremely stout. This is a Chris Wolf component I'm gonna try. This little kick here is gonna to go towards the capped end of the cylinder and the push rod end will be on the other. I'm gonna spin this around real quick Hopefully not drop any steel on my toes. So minus the web, this is gonna kind of be what you see on the end of the, the I-beam before I cap this. So this web, at least for the first five inches of the beam from this end in, is gonna be replaced with a one inch piece of A36. We have some hot rolled tie-in straps that are gonna create the gap for our drop-in wedge. These pieces will run between the top and the bottom flange for, for about 70 inches. I'm gonna cap all of this. That's the plan, tell me what you think. Hopefully this works the way I envision it. Like I said, this is a hasty video put together to show you what we're gonna do before we start cutting. Thanks for watching.